Welcome back to Hamamatsu's Tech Bytes. Next, we have Kirsty, who will be introducing the laser-driven light source. So what is the laser-driven light source and where does it come from? The laser-driven light source, or LDLS, is a novel technology developed by Energetic, who are a Hamamatsu company. Laser-driven refers to the fact that this light source uses an integrated laser to sustain a xenon lamp plasma, which offers a number of benefits to the output. Ultimately, you get the same broadband output as that of a xenon lamp, but with much higher brightness and stability, amongst other features. How does this laser-driven technology work, and why is it beneficial? Like with a standard xenon source, the plasma within the bulb is ignited via the electrodes. However, Unlike your standard xenon source, this plasma is then sustained via the integrated continuous wave laser. This offers a few major benefits. Firstly, the plasma is much more stable, both spatially and temporally, when sustained via a laser, which means that the output light is incredibly stable. Secondly, the laser helps to keep the xenon plasma exceptionally small, on the order of 100 microns. A small plasma allows for efficient coupling of the output light into very small areas, meaning a lot of photons in a very small space. And what about the lifetime of the laser-driven light source? Frankly, the lifetime is superb. An advantage of the laser-driven technology is that it reduces the use of the electrodes within the bulb. It is the wearing down of these electrodes that typically reduces the lifetime of a bulb. By only using these to ignite the plasma and not to sustain it, the electrodes last much longer. The LDLS has a guaranteed lifetime of 9,000 hours, but many can run for 10 to 15,000 hours with little impact on performance. Can you show us the source in action? Sure. So here we have the EQ99X FC. This is the fiber coupled version of the EQ99X, which is free space output. This blue box here houses the CW laser that is used to sustain the plasma. As you can see, this is connected to the lamp house via an optical fiber. This is completely sealed so that no laser light is output from the source, hence it remains a class one source. The lamp is housed in this silver unit. The light is then output via the fiber here. For the free space source, light is output from a window on the side of the unit. One thing to note here is that this is not simply the free space version with a fibre adapter. What Energetic have done is designed and integrated an optical system within the lamp head in order to optimise the coupling efficiency into the fibre. Finally, here we get the output, which will be a bright, broadband spectrum ideal for illuminating small. Can you explain a little more about the output spectrum? The spectrum is broadband, ranging from under 200 nanometers to over 2000 nanometers. This is very similar to that of a standard xenon source, but with a few noticeable differences. As you can see, the LDLS offers a higher spectral radiance, as well as a more stable or flatter output. It also offers a high brightness output in the UV, making it an alternative for deuterium lamps in a number of applications. So now we understand the operation of the source, in what applications is it particularly beneficial? Simply put, the LDLS is excellent for applications in which you need a lot of photons in a small area. For example, when testing and characterising optical fibres, the LDLS can be coupled into a very small opening, allowing more photons into the fibre. Another example is materials inspection, such as for semiconductor chips. The LDLS can put a large amount of light into a small area, allowing very small features to be studied. Another key application is spectroscopy. The broadband output of the source allows excitation over a wide range of wavelengths. The high brightness at these wavelengths also allows for illumination of weaker samples to aid measurements. Ultimately, the beauty of the LDLS is that it lends itself to a whole host of applications, ranging from astronomy to photochemistry, hyperspectral imaging to sensor calibration. If you're looking for a broadband source with high brightness, excellent stability, and even a long lifetime, the LDLS is a great option.